Thank you very much uh, for the opportunity to share some work that we've been doing. Uh, you may know that obesity is the second leading cause of death in uh, Western countries. Uh, currently, there's 1.9 billion people who uh, struggle with obesity or overweight, um, and it's a $70 billion market. So it's an enormous uh, market and opportunity to help a lot of people uh, not go to the grave early. Um, so we've uh, unfortunately discovered the field broadly that dieting, uh, behavioral weight loss diets don't work. Most people can lose a bit of weight, but then they regain it in two years. So unfortunately, we need new solutions to uh, confronting obesity. Um, neuroscience work from our lab and others have found that elevated reward region and attention region response to food is a very potent predictor of future weight gain. Um, catch up with my talk here. Um, but uh, basically, the neural response to food images and reward and attention circuitry uh, predict future weight gain very potently, uh, eclipsing the predictive power of a whole bunch of other risk factors that uh, have been found to predict obesity. Um, so it's an amazing intervention target for obesity interventions. If you can reduce how our brains respond to food, um, food cues, et cetera, it can really reduce craving. Uh, so we did a randomized trial in which we um, randomly assign people to a condition in which they're basically trained to make approach responses to healthy foods hundreds and hundreds of times, and they're cued to inhibit an approach response to unhealthy food hundreds and hundreds of times. So when an apple comes up, they see a little uh, blue rectangle and they're cued to respond. When the hamburger comes up, a gray rectangle surrounds that and they're cued not to respond. So they're just basically being trained not to respond to high calorie foods. Um, and we've also paired that with attention modification training. So in this instance, uh, we show a visual search paradigm in which you're uh, confronted with an array of 16 uh, foods, one of which is healthy, and your job is to touch the healthy food as quickly as you can. And that trains attention away from the unhealthy foods and towards the healthy foods. Um, so what we found is this brain training, just a four-hour intervention in this proof-of-concept study, reduces palatability ratings of high calorie foods, so people who like donuts too much decide to not like donuts as much, uh, reduces monetary evaluation of high calorie foods. Uh, critically, from a neuroscience perspective, it reduces reward and attention region response to high calorie foods per fMRI, and as many of you know, you can't really fake uh, blood flow in the brain, so this is a reliable, trustworthy finding. And most critically, it reduces body fat. So this is essentially, uh, a way of training your, your brain to pay attention less to unhealthy foods and to have uh, less approach motivation for it. Um, and it seems like a very promising direction. Um, our team has basically uh, developed three or four different interventions that reduce valuation of foods. This is one of them. There's others uh, that are out there. But we think it's uh, valuable to kind of target this uh, obesity uh, risk factor so that we can uh, promote weight loss and prevent future weight gain. Uh, so we're seeking funding to systematically improve the trainings and market them. Uh, we can market them to individuals as well as the companies with, uh, you know, employee wellness programs. And I'd be more than happy to talk with you over uh, lunch, ironically, uh, after this talk. So thank you very much.